Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we were really just hanging out at, a. Uh, we were really just hanging out in Trista. Well, and Thor's too, just chatting everybody up. Right now, what we're going to do, though, is first, like, take stock of how the situation currently is with Valimar. It will let us in. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to say anything about their... Rockstar abandoning uh, abandoning them. Like, not literally, but... Voices can be heard from the other side of the glass. Alright, that does it for the script! Still, we're doing this thing live. The guys need the recording... Uh, the guys doing the recording need to be ready for anything. Right! We're all ready to go here, too. If, uh... If you don't mind me asking, how close to the action are we gonna get? What do you think? As close as we can! He's really fired up in there. I just hope he doesn't do anything too risky. I mean, that's his M.O., isn't it? Hmm. I really thought he was gonna say something about, um... I forgot what her name was. What her, um... Misty? Something like that. What Vita Clotilde's alter ego was doing. Hey, Valimar. Hello, Reed. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. Ah, uh, not the problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. Don't we know it? I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> thanks. You know, looking back... I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. Same. I didn't think Valimar would turn out to be, like, a character. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to... dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. Right, he did say that. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. Okay, well then, don't hold back, dude. Lay it on us. Really? Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. Wow, that's specific. And my previous awakener was a man known as Drykles Rice Arner. That's not surprising. Wow. So it really was Drykles, huh? I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that resided within the Proving Grounds. So does that mean that Dreykles did all of those Proving Grounds too? Dreykles visited the Spirit Shrines as you did. Hey. In each one, he obtained the same core with which to forge his weapon, and advanced upon the same capital. And it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the word to rest in one final confrontation. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? That's a good question. Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man. So like Reen. Full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and merciful. He had dignity in measure with his stature, and still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. Huh. He was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are not. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. It really did sound like he was describing Reen halfway, pretty much. Dreykles found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Take pride in those who become your sword. 
Wow, that is some high praise. Uh, thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Yeah, that glowing over there, is that Heimdall? Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. Oh, okay, that's them. So, if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall, I shall do, do all within my power. Nice. And uh, then, out of the four options that we had last episode... We actually ended up cycling through pretty much all of them, because I didn't realize it would let us cancel plans. But... Eh. Oh. Good evening. Lovely to, see, uh, lovely to see the town so vibrant again, isn't it? That it is. Though I take it you're here preparing for tomorrow instead of joining in the festivities. You got it. We're getting our high-speed vehicles prepped in Trista Station as we speak. Well, uh, we've already got a team at work near Carroll, too. On top of that, the 4th Division rolls out tomorrow morning. Get some rest tonight. We won't have the luxury for much longer, unfortunately. I will. Hmm. So, no Captain Claire, huh? Alright, that's fine. And now it should let us into the 3rd Dormitory. Well, I promised I'd meet Laura here. Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm here kind of early. Returning to the dormitory and talking with your chosen character will cause the main story to advance. Yeah. Why not? Originally, I was gonna go with Toa. Hmm. But you know, we ended up here. Class 7 Dormitory. Home sweet home, dude. Oh, I didn't think you would already be here. Hey, Laura. Did you finish taking care of things then? I believe so. It truly does feel strange to be back here, though. It's been a long road to return here, and yet, return we did. There was never any doubt, though. This building holds so many memories for us, I couldn't even begin to count. It sure does. Well, while we're here, you want to walk around inside for a bit? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. Sure, I'd like that. I don't... I wonder if anyone would have come in here while we were gone. I guess that's her spare sword still there. Green's spare sword also still there. Whose room is this? Are we just gonna visit everybody's? but there was a little part of me that expected to find Crow here waiting for us. Ah, that was Crow's room. I mean, not literally expect, but there was just a little voice in my head going, what if, while walking around. I can hardly blame you. I felt the same. Instead, he's another obstacle we have to overcome. One of many. Man, that fight is gonna be really difficult. Yeah. Still, we've been able to face every challenge that's come our way up till now. Why wouldn't our fight to bring Crow home be the same? <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Nothing stands a chance at declaring victory over Class 7's combined might. Or our two swords. Speaking of... Reen. She's about to get real. I realize I've asked this once before, but... Do you like the path of the sword? Hey, Reen can do some crazy things with his eight leaves, one blade style, dude, so he'd be crazy not to. 
<laughs> Hearing that brings back memories. You really caught me off guard when you asked me that back in Keldic. Any reason it's on your mind again? Um, I was just curious. It feels as though after our impending battle, things will never be the same. And so before that happened, I wanted to hear your answer one more time. For all I know, that answer's changed. Ah, right. Well, it hasn't. My answer's exactly the same now as it was then. As it should be, dude. He's only gotten more tricky. Swordsmanship is like a part of me. It's always been there. It's not a case of liking it or not. It's just part of who I am. Both my swordsmanship and my sword are me in a way. Maybe you'll be happy to know that my feelings on the subject haven't changed either. Of course not, dude. She could cut mountains in half. My stance and my resolve are the same as they ever were. I stake my pride, my soul, my very being on my blade and wield it to attain ever greater heights. That is what it means to me. Why I value it above all else. Or so I say. I'm conflicted to tell you the truth. Conflicted? About what? In both my time at the Academy and during these past few weeks of fighting alongside one another, I seem to have found something else just as precious to me. Is it gonna be Reen? Are you suggesting... I've now discovered a new reason to fight. One that differs from the reason I fought for all this time. Okay. I was wondering if this was gonna have a romantic slant to it, if it was just gonna be as, like, coy about it as the first games was. And that reason gives me more courage and power than I've ever felt before. Okay, or they are gonna be coy about it. Never could I have imagined there would be anything that would mean as much to me as my path of the sword. At least, not until I met you. They're not going to be coy about it, okay. Laura? Reen, I... I think I love you. Okay, I didn't- I, I actually did not expect that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. At first, we were just friends, but now I see you as something far more. Wow. That's why I need to know. I really hope they don't have us choose. Do you... Uh, do you feel the same way about me, too? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be the one to say it first, but it looks like you beat me to it. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to have to pick. I always figured that as a man, it'd end up being my job. S sorry, that was presumptuous of me. I'm simply not used to these sort of things. Well, all right then. No, don't worry. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've always admired you ever since our first day here. Your swordsmanship is so elegant, strong, and beautiful that I couldn't help but be captivated by it. And by you. You're as strong as you are reliable, but that feminine side you show from time to time is adorable too. I'm always happy to be part of our class, but having a place where the two of us can better ourselves makes me happiest of all. Truly? I love you too, Laura. All right. Even after we graduate, I want to keep walking alongside you, following the path of the sword. And I hope that we one day reach those heights we're aiming for, but together. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got the chance to say it. L Laura? No kiss? I had no idea it would make me this happy to hear you say you love me. <laughs> My face feels like it's on fire from blushing so much. <laughs> I feel the same way, you know. We've got no way of knowing what the future holds in store for us, but we can't let a war like this stand in our path. Like you said, we have a lot of obstacles to overcome, and by overcoming ours, we'll prove we're capable of so much more. Reem slipped into a speech? Right now? Okay. <laughs> yeah. We will. May we both wear the way of the sword proudly, and together protect our friends and our future.
Okay. Dang, dude. The S plus ending. Like, I know that after we did the um, bonfire event in the first game, people were saying that the game pretty much ignores it. Your bond with Laura strengthened. It can't get any stronger, though. Inseparable. Overdrive 2. Oh, okay. It can get stronger, then. Courtmanship. I wonder if I can just keep reloading that save and get everybody's right there. Well, I only have three other people I could potentially even get, so... Prevents me from completely cheesing things right there. But, uh, I do want to see what Gaius, Toa, and Instructor Sarah's ending scenes look like. I'm assuming Gaius's is nowhere near as intimate, but whatever. So are they going to come out of the dormitory together or something? Nah. The game is probably going to... Um, I'm fine with that. Them being coy about how specifically the night ended. It's whatever. Snow's always cool, though. Oh, we're all already here. Yep. That's, uh, this is amazing. You really were able to forge Valmar a new Tachi from Zamirian Ore. Ugh, of course I was. It's a massive weapon totaling over seven arch in length. That's uncommon shape made refining and processing the ore exceedingly difficult, to say the least. But it was done. I doubt I would have been able to do it if not for the help of that stubborn old student of mine over there. You're the least qualified person on this entire continent to call anyone else stubborn. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Instructor. It sure was a shock to learn that you are also a former student of the Professor's Instructor Makarov. I'd heard you were once a student at the Ruhr Institute of Technology, but I never connected the dots. And that's how I preferred it, too. Well, that was a long, long time ago. I'll never be able to fathom why the two of you chose not to stay and study more under me. The offer still stands, however. I know talent when I see it. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I doubt I'd have half the talent to keep up with you. Give it to him straight, George, or I won't get through that damn near impenetrable skull of his. Tell him you'd go insane if you had to spend years working with an arrogant, self-centered prick like him. Yeesh. Just calling him out in front of everybody. Still, what a beautiful blade it is. The radiance of it is simply dazzling. Ain't nothing out there like Zemirian ore. It's probably not as sharp as something a real swordsmith would make, though. None of us are smiths by profession. But Valimar should find it easier to use than any weapon he could have taken from a soldat, and that's what counts. Alright then, let's give it a try. No trigger though? Oh! Okay. I guess that's cooler than having a trigger on your sword. Wow. Even though Rain's trigger has yet to do anything, but still. They're... resonating with one another? They sure are! Now we've got some power. How beautiful! It truly is astounding. You look so cool, Valimar. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's amazing, all right. I think we finally have a chance. Feedback process with new armament complete. I do indeed feel this is easier to wield than previous armaments. <laughs> Good, I'm glad to hear it. You think this'll do the trick? Yep, I had high expectations, but this shattered them. I think I finally stand a chance against him now. 
Professor Schmidt, Instructor Makarov, George. Thank you all so much for what you've done. Save your thanks. I only did what I did to satisfy my curiosity. Whatever you do now that I'm done is of no concern to me. Ah, he's not being modest either, Reen. He totally means that. This is just how he is. Same deal with the railway guns, the soul dots, and the orbital jamming device. As soon as his work is done, he loses interest completely and is off to find something else to do. Ha, <laughs> something wrong with that? Was Professor Schmidt mentioned in something? I think it was something I ended up missing in Trails of Cold Steel 2, that, uh, or Trails in the Sky 2 that somebody linked me to a video of, but I think Professor Schmidt was mentioned in Trails in the Sky. Hmm. Trails in the Sky 2 anyways. I'm fairly certain he was. All that said, I think the preparations are now finally complete. Yes, sir. I think it's about time I go and get everyone. <laughs> ah, the fated moment has finally arrived. The current time is 0630 hours. Everyone should gather here again at 0730 hours. Make sure you're all wearing what I gave you earlier, too. Oh, did we get a new change of costume? Right. Or are we gonna, does she want us to do this in our class seven getups? It'd be cool if we got a costume change. Same day, 7.50. Make sure we're all wearing what she gave us. Mm. What the heck was she talking about when she said that? Or maybe this would have put us in our default costumes if we weren't already wearing them. Good. Instructor Sarah, Instructor Thomas, Instructor Makarov. We leave them in your capable hands. Understood. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. Students of Thor's Military Academy. And I'm sure most of you remember what was once imparted to you during your respective welcoming ceremonies. Barely? Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. These are the words of Emperor Dreykels, the man who ended the War of the Lions and founded this very academy. I asked you to consider what the world he refers to is, and what qualities one must possess to be its foundation. I imagine that you each had your own thoughts in response. However, I ask that you not make the mistake of assuming that foundation is synonymous with sacrifice. I believe that it is by walking side by side with others, opening up a path and treading down it that one does this. As such, I have but one very simple message for each and every one of you to remember. Return alive. Welcome springs arrival with one another, and when the time comes, fly the nest with one another. And to that end, I wish you victory. May Adios and Dreykels the Lionheart be with you all. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. But of course. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor as well as those who were captured with him. Everyone, move out! Understood. Okay. Toa actually gave the address. Reen, at the start of the mission, for once, didn't really say anything. Reen can now use the S-Craft Termination slash Dawn. Huh. All right! But still, she told us to wear what she gave us? Surface air temperature is 5 degrees, humidity 13%. There's a north-northwesterly wind blowing at 11 APH. Incoming message fr uh, messages from both the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions. 
They're past the Schwarzjock barrier in Trista, moving into formation about 100 Sulks from Heimdall. Main cannons and secondary armaments are good to go. We're ready for battle at any time. All orbital engines are operating normally. All crew members present and accounted for. We're ready to begin the operation on your command. Understood. Sounds like we're all ready to go. Still, it doesn't look like we're going to be hearing anything from Prince Oliver. Indeed. There's been no word from Father, either. They've probably got their hands full in the West, and starting to get really hectic there from what I've heard. I've asked Mix to try and get in contact with Tolval, but I'm not banking on him succeeding. That's too bad. It would have been great to have them here, too. There's no point in lamenting what we don't have. Right. All we can do is make the best of our current situation. Yep, I'm with them. And still, that battle doesn't begin until midday. We've still got time. If there's anything you want to take care of, now's your chance. Anything spring to mind? Hmm. Now that you mention it, Toa, are there any new requests for us to take care of? There are, in fact. Hold on a minute while I get them up. We've got a couple. Huh. Ymir, far wherever you are. Danger strikes close to home for young Reen with a strange beast stirring up strife on the path to Ymir. Will he answer the call? Will his sister be impressed with his manly feats of strength? Will anyone actually read this? <laughs> Sasquatch, Ymir Valley deepest area, which we should be able to just jump to. Nord by northeast. The hills are alive, dear Reen, with the sound of monsters. The highlands, to be more precise. And I'd like you to look into it personally. I hope your skills haven't plateaued yet. Because you'll have to fly like, dare I say it, the wind to deal with this threat. Gilder Quaker, North Highlands Northeast North Plateau. Socks and violence. There once was a woman from Ruhr. When I saw her, I wanted to woo her. She gave me a slap when I sat on her lap. Now I have one lover fewer. Ah, how I love composing a clever verse. Monster Gaspard. Socks and Mountain Path 2 in front of the waterfall. Uh, my Jormungand don't want none. Something tells me that that's a reference to a song. I don't know. When we speak of serpents, what should spring to mind but the fell Jormungand? But in truth, I have my own glorious serpents I bring out at parties and on special occasions. In fact... <laughs> ah! Reen, this is Major Vander. Pay no attention to the prince and just kill the monster. East Celtic Highway 3 near a cliff in the far north. So, just a bunch of monster extermination. Huh. I think we can handle these. Right. None of them seem like they would take too long. Whether you do them or not is totally up to you, but getting ready for battle should be top priority. I know you've gotten the hang of reporting to Prince Oliver, but seeing as we can't contact him, you can just report to me. This might well be the last chance you have to get maintenance done in your orbits, too. So if you need anything, let me know. This really does feel like... Honestly... It doesn't feel like Endgame. I thought there were going to be like five acts to this game. It it doesn't feel like we're at the end already. We will. Thank you. There's no such thing as being too prepared for this. Like, I don't know. Finale. Forward relentlessly. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. To advance the main story, speak to Toa in the captain's chair and select Commence Operation. This is the last time during the story that you will be on board the Courageous. After beginning the operation, it will no longer be possible to take advantage of its facilities or visit other towns. All quests and sub-events will also disappear and trial chests will become permanently unavailable. While you have another chance to buy items, quartz, and the like, this will not be for some time. Well... It still really does not feel like the end, dude. Wow. It's a little wild. Uh, first things first, we've got to... While we're at Ymir, we might as well hit it up. It's great to finally have everyone from the Academy on board the Courageous. Everyone who, met, uh, who, everyone who went missing, everyone who chose to stay at the Academy, they're all here, ready to fight with us. <laughs> 
It's kind of surreal. We really did go and achieve exactly what we set out to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. We took back the Academy, Valimar's new Tachi has been forged. Nothing's stopping us from giving this operation our all. That being said, it feels a little wrong to say we have everyone when there's one of us missing. I didn't even think of that. Sure, it's lively enough here as it is, but Crow has this special energy no one else can bring. But just remember, him not being here yet doesn't make what you've done any less amazing. So, thank you, Reen. I can't imagine all of us would be here now if not for you. I think you're giving me too much credit there. Coming this far was a team effort. I may be a part of that team, but so are you and everyone else. <laughs> oh, Reen. I should have known you would say that. Yep, I think if anyone deserves this little something, it's you. Reen, would you be willing to accept this? Received emblem? A Master Quartz? This is either... I don't think it's... No, Sarah's is Thor. I think Emblem might be, um, <clears throat> Major, uh, or not Major Vander. Major Nightheart's? That's right, the principal gave it to me. He said to give it to a student who goes above and beyond the Call of Duty. So that's exactly what I've just done. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more than you. I... I don't know if I've gone above and beyond, but if you say I deserve it, then I'll happily accept it. We can't quit here. Not when we're so close. Soon we'll be able to bring Crow home, and only then will we really be able to say we have everyone on board. Right! Hmm. Well, we definitely gotta check it. As soon as we actually go to the right thing. Space of glory, remaining HP, the less damage you receive. Damage received down as HP drops, damage decreases up to 80%. Huh. Chance of triple advantage encounters, 60% chance, only when user is active character. Oh! This is, um... This is, uh... Blah... Oh my god. She's sitting over there. Jellica. This is Jellica's Quartz. Master Quartz, rather. Alright. Our operation today is bound to be the toughest thing we've ever done. If we're not completely in sync, there's no way we'll be able to pull this off. We've got to work hard and work together. Just stay safe out there, okay? I will. I promise. All of us are bound and determined to make this a success. And when I say all of us, I don't just mean Class 7. So don't worry about us. We'll be back. And we'll be dragging Crow with us. Okay. I believe in you. Together, I know we'll be able to make it back to the Academy. All of us. Let's see. Oh yeah, we've unlocked Trista. You can now travel to Trista using the Courageous. You can now go on into East Trista Highway too. Where do you want to go? First, we're gonna hit up. Yeah. Here. Leave it to me. We can also probably. Isengard should take us to, like, the furthest reaches of Ymir Valley, shouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah. We'll soak our feet here and then get to killing stuff. I th think... Yeah. We're probably gonna be good to go. Oh, the armbands! That's what Instructor Sarah was talking about! I saw it on Laura first, and I was like, isn't that new? But then, Reen had one, Emma's got one, I'm sure the other guys on the team are gonna have it too. Ah, okay. Cool. So that's what she meant by us wearing this. I wonder if... Thor's armband, an armband showing that the wearer is a student of Thor's Military Academy. She gets one too! Nice! No reason for her not to wear her, uh, one, so... Oh, I think, um... Okay, I think we might only, might only have six of these in total, but you know what? It's all good. 
from here, we're probably... Yeah. I'm just gonna walk us up there. Oh, check it out. Oh, I we haven't done fish any here. fishing in a while. <laughs> so you're a silver angler now, are you? This calls for a celebration. Well, if you consider me giving you more items to trade points for something celebratory. And best of all, one of these items is a brand new rod. Try it out and aim for greatness in the fishing world. I think I'll do just that. Thank you, Annabelle. Hmm. Oh, okay. I can't stop thinking about that radiant glow. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to sink my teeth into its beautiful body. She's about to tell us about a super rare, ultra difficult to catch fish, isn't she? Uh, isn't she? Hey there, Annabelle. Did you see some sort of rare fish in the water? Oh, good day, Reen. Actually, yes. Not long ago, I saw a giant shadow of a fish swimming through, uh, swimming through the stream here. A giant shadow? You don't think you can be Ymir's guardian, do you? You know of it? Well, you grew up around here, so I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. We'll hear about sightings around here on occasion. I even saw it once back when I was a kid. Really? You must be as curious as I am then, aren't you? I would be if I were in your shoes. <laughs> but I'm afraid the legend of Ymir's guardian ends here. For I shall be the one to reel it in for good. You're gonna catch it? <laughs> I certainly am. And if you don't want me catching it, you're just going to have to catch it before me. Neither of us will be in for an easy time, however. As I'm sure you're well aware, Reen, Ymir's guardian is in a class of its own among the many fish in Erebonia. Unfortunately, I don't think you're up to the challenge just yet. I'd suggest you try and gain experience by catching more varieties of fish before attempting to take on the Guardian. You're probably right. There's no point in trying if I know I can't catch her from the very start. I won't give up completely, though. I just need to polish my skills and then give it a fair shot. <laughs> Spoken like a true angler. Do try and hurry, though. I'll be here trying to catch it while you're practicing. Hmm. Oh, I could probably fish. Well... Excellent rod. Sold out. But we are stupendously broke. Alright, I'm just gonna head up to uh, where it's waiting for us at. So, one second, guys. Right. This thing. Yeah. Looks like a palette swapped Grenoja. But we can still go ahead and jack it up. I'm not worried about our chances, that's for sure. Adversary. Unless it can inflict some sort of status that I haven't foreseen. Hmm. Predictable. Dang. Let me help. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That's very helpful. My turn. First things first, as per usual. Uh, yeah. And then we can have her move. Or central spot. And then we'll take a look and see what um buffs she can throw on everybody. She cannot. Uh, Sasquatch to fire. Alright. Flare bomb it is. Onward! And she's got zero arts. Go ahead and buff everybody's strength really quickly. And then once we get the opportunity, we'll have Reen do the same. Wow, she is dodgy. Huh? 
That was a good amount of damage, too. Jeez. Emma's got it covered. Um, how's about... Yeah, we'll have her Phantom Phobia. And then Reen... Is gonna... Well, I guess we can have him... Up everybody's stuff. Dang, he finally got Laura. It doesn't look like we're getting a crit anytime soon, so... Mm, yeah, one more La Forte from Laura, and then we'll have her go in. Arts, La Forte... Uh, yeah. Unless this thing um ups its own strength and defense, in which case we'll have Emma spend some CP downing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Terminator's uh, termination slash dawn. Jeez. I wonder. Well. I'll probably get termination, like, well, I'm not gonna speculate just yet. There we go. Didn't outright kill it, but we're close. Arts. Yeah, Silver Thorn. Anything that moves before it does. Hmm. A crit that I did not notice. Like, you know, it's whatever. As long as this thing doesn't heal itself. There we go. Alright. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh! Rena and Instructor Sarah reached Link Level 7 as well. <laughs> I've only Okay. That is one down. Zemirian or Shard. Nice. Uh, so we can actually return to Courageous. We're going to go to Ymir, and there's actually one other thing that I want to Where try. Want to First, we're going to heal up in Ymir, but I'm just going to take us directly there. So one second, guys. If you ask me, I think it's time we gave this thing a second shot. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. All right. We can't. Yeah. Didn't even get a single shot to intercept that attack. Uh, hopefully this doesn't outright kill everybody. Cool. It didn't outright kill everybody. Thanks. We are going to need to heal though. Arts. Chrono Drive. Her to start with. Uh, Luckily, she knows Seraphic Ring. Yeah. We're all like, we've all gone 
so much higher up in level. Leave it to me. Let's see. Uh, Seraphic Ring is actually gonna fix that for us. So. Volglyph is Earth we want to use, so yeah. Here goes. Um, we've got a crit that has a certain Laura's name written all over it. Hopefully she can, yeah, La Forte. Reen is going to have to motivate if we want to get our power up. Shouldn't be too difficult. Jeez. Well, it could have been worse, I guess. Alright, so that's one. And then Reen. Uh, all right, motivate. All right, and then let's, let's do this. You give it to me. See what we can uh, put out. The of my I'm expecting at least half health from her. And I don't think these cryptids, like... They don't seem like they've got the usual BS. Like, it seems like they're supposed to be strong rather than able to, hey! Here I go. Just completely keep themselves alive forever. <laughs> oh, we've got double zero arts. Very nice. If worse comes to worse, we can just take advantage of that crit. Definitely don't want to come and find Please out that me. it's got, um... Oh, oh no, she's got... <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just hit Ymir up after this. I mean, if we can get free 200 CP attacks, well, why not? Make every cryptid eat our dust. Right. Definitely surviving that very first ancient glyph attack was really just a, a levels game. All right, we win. Aha, didn't blow us away that time, did ya? Lights out for them. Good work. Dang, we didn't get any XP from that. Hopefully they comment on it. After that, I don't know, dude. Like the battle may have gone by pretty quickly, but that was a long time coming. Defeated the cryptid Volglid, uh, defeated the cryptid Volglyph, rather. Received clear moon gem. Ooh, what's this? Did that cryptid drop it? My guess is it's an antique. I can sense an unusual force coming from it. The light reading aid from it suggests that it contains significant power. Celine, could this be a relic from the Dark Ages? I was thinking that too, actually. It's the antique equivalent of a quartz, which might explain that weird color it's got. A quartz from the Dark Ages, huh? Anything special to it? They're supposed to allow, to, uh, allow you to use an ancient form of arts that involves three different elements. Wow! I suppose at this point you'd call them lost arts. I've heard about their existence from Grandmother, but beyond that, nothing else. That's about what I've heard, too. Still, its wavelength shouldn't be all that different from that of your Arcus Quartz. Why don't you try putting it into one? It might not work, but it's worth a try. That's true. The size and shape are similar enough. Let's give this a go. Or something could explode, but hey, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. About Lost Arts. The orb just obtained will allow you to use a kind of arts called Lost Arts when set into an orbment. Lost Arts are extremely powerful arts from the Dark Ages, with the orbs representing new elements not reflective of the seven known elements. These arts can only be used when a character has max EP. They can only be cast once per battle, and once used, they will consume the caster's EP entirely. In addition to these non-standard elements, each orb has three standard elements. These indicate which elemental slots on a character's Arcus they can be set into. Wow. These things better be good, dude. 
Clear Moon Gem, Fire Mirage Water, Artemis's Tears, Quartz containing a Moon Element art lost to the ages. You can put that on attack too, but Green's not really going to be using it. I guess. Depleting her EP entirely, though. Okay. Well, we are actually going to go ahead, call it a part there. We're gonna, all the rest of these extermination requests, there's like, what, seven or eight battles we've got? We'll get those taken care of, but that's all gonna be next time. Definitely join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Bye for now, guys.